Water, water everywhere. Red robe astrology for March 8th. Really, kids, it is a deep, watery kind of day, especially tonight when the moon moves into Pisces and it's all water all the time. There's a beautiful conjunction today between Mercury and Neptune. Mercury, mind, perception, communication. Uh, Neptune, the great spirit in Pisces, Neptune's ruler. We are connected. We are in creative flow and inspiration. Now, Mercury's not happy in Pisces. He can't uh, be precise in all of that water. And there's another Mercury transit, a semi-square with Jupiter. Now, that's Jupiter. Jupiter can't bring a bad experience, but, you know, with Mercury and Jupiter in mild conflict, there's mental increase, a sense of curiosity, lots of judgments and opinions flying around. And just be careful of um, the value you attach to something. This is a transit that might have you overvalue something uh, today that might look less shiny tomorrow. So again, beautiful energy for connection, flow, creativity, uh, intuition, but not for practical uh, uh, logical reasoning. Uh, the moon is actually taking us through like a three-act day. Uh, the moon's in Aquarius now, so sort of intellectual, uh, uh, um, uh, innovative, intuitive, and a square from the Aquarius moon to Aquarius' ruler, uh, Uranus, makes the first part of this day, Pacific time, a little unstable. There's a conjunction from the moon to Venus at 10.55 a.m. Pacific. That's a heart opening, and that sets up a six-hour void. So from around 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time, do your best to respect the void. Go into planning mode, make some to-do lists, do some resting and restoration if you can. Don't start up anything new till the moon changes signs. That happens at 5.03 p.m. Pacific, where the moon moves into Pisces. We get ready for the new moon. It's the dark of the moon, and it's very, very watery. There's some semi-squares from the moon to the north node in Chiron when the moon gets into Pisces. So the day may end with some feels rising up. Have at it.